Hi, I'm Adrienne and I work for the Northern Prawn Fishery Industry. One of my jobs is working with the fishers to reduce impacts of trawling on the marine environment and the creatures they interact with. The Northern Prawn Fishery is Australia's largest prawn trawl fishery and expands across the top of Australia, catching mainly banana and tiger prawn. And while the fishery is big in size, it's actually only a small portion of those waters that are fished, around 10%. So a little bit of history of the fishery. It started in the 1960s with a few trawlers, but by the 1980s, there was nearly 300, which started impacting on the marine environment and on the prawns. So to become a sustainable fishery, a lot has changed over the years. We've gone from a peak of 282 trawlers in the 1980s to um, 52 by 2007. We've closed off areas to fishing to protect sensitive fish and prawn habitat like seagrass beds. And we have two fishing seasons. So the fishery is actually only open for six months of the year. We also do a lot of research with scientists to reduce the capture of unwanted marine animals the big ones and the small ones. And one of our biggest success stories has been the introduction of turtle excluder devices, or we call them TEDs, which our fishers started using 20 years ago. We fish in tropical water, and as you probably know, there's a few special animals that live there, turtles and big sharks and rays. We have six species of turtle that call Northern Australia home, the flatback, the Pacific Ridley, the Hawksbill, the Loggerhead, Green Turtle and the Leatherback. Before we were using TEDs in the trawl nets, over 5,000 turtles were caught every year. Unfortunately, some of them didn't survive because turtles are marine reptiles and so they need to come to the surface to breathe. So if the, they were caught while the nets were down catching the prawns, the turtles couldn't get to the surface. In the late 90s and the year 2000, scientists helped the fishery to start using TEDs in their nets. So what exactly is a TED? A TED is a large metal grid that is sewn into the trawl net on an angle. At the bottom or top of the TED is a big hole in the net that the turtle can swim out of and continue on its way. A TED is on an angle to help guide the turtle or other large animals like sharks rays towards that escape hole. The impact of putting these grids in the trawl nets was significant and the number of turtles being caught went from 5,000 to less than 100 a year with 99% surviving. These days if a turtle does get caught it's usually in the tri net and a tri net is a small trawl net that the fishers use to check if the prawns are around. So these nets only go underwater for a very short period of time and if a turtle happens to get caught in it the crew can get it out and release it back into the water straight away. Our other big success story has been the use of bycatch reduction devices or BRDs. These have also been in the nets since around the same time as the TEDs and are special devices sewn into the net closer to the catch to let the small fish out or bycatch. So what exactly is bycatch? Well, bycatch is that part of the catch, and for us, the small fish, that the fisher doesn't want to keep and that goes back into the water. We've had a few different devices being used by the fisher since 2001, but five years ago, we decided they weren't good enough. They were letting the fish out, but we wanted something that would get a lot more fish out while keeping the prawns in the net. So our fishers designed some new devices that were tested on the trawlers with the scientists. And these new devices reduced the bycatch by up to 44%, letting all those small fish out. And now all of our fishers are using them. So these are two great examples of what the MPF has done to be a more sustainable fishery and to reduce our environmental footprint. We've been MSC certified as a sustainable fishery since 2012 and we know how important it is to look after our oceans so we can catch the yummy prawns that people love to eat.